Well, here we say goodbye to the Natty Anna, and uh, now we're going on to the Radiata in Herbert. That's going to be out on the rice fields. Got a couple of days there. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Well, we've arrived in Udbud, and as usual, it's turned into the biggest car park in Bali. Really is just crazy. It's just, you know, once we park up, we will not be driving anymore. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it, it really is ridiculous here. There's no way I'll be driving around in this. It's just stressful, isn't it? Well, we're here, and um, I guess we're going to be parking the car up here somewhere as soon as they turn up. He said we could park in front of them. Um, Abagan bungalows and Abagan bungalows is here. And I don't think they've got much parking space. But it'd be better than nothing. We'll see. Well, that was the hustle bustle of Ubud, and you saw it. It's just one mass car park. Anyway, we've come across the rice fields, we've parked the car up, and look. Ain't that better? It's far better. I'll hear thunder again. I'll bet you get rain yet again. Anyway, let's come in and have a look at the room. You've seen it before, but I'm going to show you again. And there we are. Look at that. That bed is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, like I say, you've seen this room before, but I'm going to show you. The TV. Um, plenty of plug sockets around the room. This is the first place we've been this year that actually has a stocked fridge. And the prices are good enough. And the prices are very reasonable. There's the prices. I'd say it was anywhere. It was 25 for a small beer. Yeah. It's fine. I'm really, really quite happy with that. I'm very happy because I'm getting one out there. And these getting the beers out straight away. Um, you know, a little desk. We've got a little desk here. Yeah. Nice to work at. It's not, not the most comfortable desk to work at, I will say that, but it is a nice desk. Um, air con. Beer for you. Beer for me. I'm having that beer in a sack. And we come through here, and there was always, um, yes, there's a kettle, a hairdryer, a little sink, and we look beyond. Um, every time we come here, there's a few more buildings gone up. And we have an outside 
shower mm. and toilet. I say outside, sort of inside, outside really. So there's your toilet facilities and there's your shower. Um, but when you're stood in the shower, you're looking out that way. And you can see volcanoes on a clearer day. Um, sadly, you can't see anything at the moment because of the cloud. But this is the radiata on the Ubbard rice fields. And I really don't think you could want for better. Sit and have your breakfast on the veranda. And look out. Got pomegranate cafe over there, if you so fancy. And if you'd stay in here for a while, there is a um, area over there where they've got co-working. So you can, and the internet's meant to be really good there. Never tried it myself. And on a very, very, very clear day, you can see the statue, but I can't see it currently. Well, after all that, it turns out that our bucket has been messed up and they put us in a downstairs room. Now, to say I'm annoyed is an understatement. After speaking with them back in January about this and all being agreed. So now we're being moved. So, um, really, really annoyed about it because uh, I spoke to Maddie, the owner, and he told me that we'd have that room because we've always had that room. So, if you're going to be bucking Radiata, you want to make sure that you get the right room. Because, uh, well, um, you saw my little sort of uh, rant earlier on. I was a bit annoyed. Um, I've calmed down a bit now. Um, V's, V's fed me bintang. V's fed me bintang. <laughs> Always cheers me up a little bit. I'm a, if I tell the truth, I'm a, I'm a little bit upset because I'd spoken to the owner and arranged the room. And it's a room that we always have. And we've been staying here three, four years now. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you've just yeah. found it frustrating. And then, yeah. But sometimes it happens and, you know, I actually quite like the different room because the upstairs, the tree's grown up quite a bit. So you can't see much of the view anyway. It's a much bigger room. Hmm. But it just doesn't have the same feeling yeah that's right but, um, and I think but it's 600 and like cheaper yeah well it wasn't about money on this one um, mm. I do think because of this I probably would never stay there again um, because when you contact someone you believe when you're getting a reply back and agreeing to what you're asking all's going to be good you know so in your mind you you know where you're going uh, maybe I'm being a bit ridiculous about it. You know, some people probably would say, you know, just, you know. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> some people might think I'm being a bit sort of like, you know, stupid about it all and, you know, making a mountain of a mill and maybe I am. And if that's the case, well... You just react differently. You react straight yeah. away. Um, mine would be a considered reaction with, a, with an email to the owner a bit later on. Just saying that we were disappointed, explaining that we were a bit disappointed and then just have different ways of dealing with things. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. what it is. At the end of the day, we're in the rice fields in Bali. And um, why would you be upset? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill out now. We're going to wander down. We're going to wander down to Little Warung that we uh, found last year with family that we really, really got on with and we'll have a beer with them and yeah. arrange some food for later on tonight. Yeah, we'll probably just wander down through the rice fields and back this afternoon because um, it's surprising how long everything takes in Bali. <laughs> but we'll probably get a bit further with that, I think, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Here 
come down through, you can see all the ducks. And this is the beauty about when you get back to walking around in that rather than riding a bike, you start seeing things. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, they, oh, we gotta go. That's all right. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, that's too cute. <laughs> that's great. Who knew you could have had bloody ducks? It was crowing. Lose that. It's free, it's red, isn't it? Yeah, live more. Hey? I would drink it. You would drink it, yeah. Three guys have got all. Okay. Oh, coffee look here. I'm sorry, uh, in the in place. Don't take a big video, my friend. Oh, Well, how much can a place change in 12 months? When we walked down here this time last year, this was a building site. Just little markets on the side of the road. And all I can say is, wow, how much it has changed. I suppose this is where the market's gonna be again. I don't know. Looks like it could be. Hubbard, for me, is... Um, become immensely busy. I don't think I've ever seen so much traffic. Yeah, I suppose everybody's coming back now, but maybe Hubbard's the most popular place. Last year we were here, and I don't know if you remember, we went into the um, Royal Palace, and we were the only ones in there. I don't think you'll ever be able to experience some of the stuff we experienced last year ever again. It's just totally different. I mean, it's obviously brilliant for the locos because there's so many people here. Some of them are saying it's uh, quiet as well, aren't they? I'll put a um, link here for Ubud Palace last year so you can see it. But just when we were in Ubud last year, it was just so much different. This one, actually, um, we were wandering around Ubud and we stopped down near the monkey forest for some uh, dinner and a monkey stove he's painting. Forest here as well, that. Yeah, I think we should try one of them, yeah. Yeah, when we were here last year, we were um, down in the lower part of the street, um, near the monkey forest, and we decided to stop for uh, uh, some dinner. And while we were sat there having dinner, a monkey just come down from nowhere and stole a painting that they had bought, didn't he? He did. Um, but the locals chased him off and um, with us banging a stick on the floor. They don't hit the monkey, just bang the stick on the floor. And he did eventually drop it, but he had had a little nibble on the corner. <laughs> but Betsy's happy because it's her picture of a barong. 
And uh, it's got a nice little story to it. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it might have. This is definitely becoming a more chilled experience now, isn't it? But at the cars going up, there's still bikes coming up and down. Oh, I say no cars. Look, as soon as I say that, look what's in front of us. There's cars coming up. But it's definitely a more chilled experience going down these little lanes. A Legion dance and fire, well, Legion and fire dance. So, we're gonna go down to see that just on the end of the rice fields, just on the end of the rice fields where we uh, are staying. So, we're, we're gonna go down there. It's a 100k a ticket, so hopefully, it's gonna be good. We'll find out soon and um, we'll go down there. Yeah, if you have a look out, you can see totally different, totally different scene there. It's always interesting to see. Everybody's in their finest wh like wares when they come out in the evening in a bud. Lots of like long flowing dresses and uh, people like dressing up for food, I suppose. But as soon as I say that, you can't see any of them. Well, so we're going to head off down now to the um, Legion dance. Welcome to Bali. I'm so as the as too. It is really, really quite busy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it sort of reminds me a little bit of what Kootenay used to be like. Yeah. So as we carry on walking down, getting closer to where we're going to see the Legion dance, um, this, this is walking back down through towards the rice fields. And I always think it's got a nicer ambience when it's dark, because uh, of the light. <laughs> nearly. Nearly fell over. I must say, the, the pavements in Ubud are absolutely atrocious. Yeah, have a look at the pavements here. You know, they're doing everything else, but the pavements here are really appalling. Probably the worst we've seen in Bali. Well, worst we've seen in Indonesia since we've been here. Um, so you do have to watch where you're going, and um, sometimes when you're wandering along talking to a camera, you're not paying attention, and uh, ain't good. Oh, freaking hell. I'm gonna do it, ain't I? That's another one I've just gone down. But we'll carry on. That's uh, two lots I've just fallen down. Pavement. You know, if they spend all this money, they need to spend a little bit more money on this. Or buy me a pair of glasses so I can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> one or the other, I don't know what you reckon. The lighting on this place is absolutely amazing. The amount of times we walked past here and just looked up and thought, wow. Hopefully you're getting a great ambience of uh, the walk into the uh, dance. This is beautiful. Look at that. If you want to look first, it's okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like Phil's, we sat in the wrong place. But we'll carry on, and it's up here. Yeah.
So that was the Legion dance, and um, we had an absolutely, well, we really loved it, really enjoyed it. And I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Obviously, you've not seen the faux version. I may put a uh, fuller version of the video out later, but um, that was the edited highlights, I think, is the best way to describe it. And um, if you want to come and see it, it's going to cost you 100000 which isn't too bad, really, is it? So now we're going to um, try and find some food. My bike. <laughs> I'm gonna no, and I don't know if you're gonna see it, but hopefully you will. There are fireflies. <laughs> One minute you see loads, the next minute you don't see any. Just in front of me, there, there. Up, you can just see them. Hopefully you can see these little lights lighting up. I'm gonna hold the camera for a little while so you, you can see them. I'm fair, but you some, see some of them up above the water in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> there is loads. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. It, first time I saw this, it absolutely, I was amazed. Lo I really love it. It's just like an <laughs> amazing thing of nature, isn't it? It really is an amazing thing of nature. So for the end of the night, we've come to our favourite warung on the rice fields, um, a bud shanty. And... Uh, I've gone for um, Nasi Champur Ayam. Now look at that, that looks amazing. That was 40k. You're feeling quite hungry now, aren't you? Well, good morning, day two in Ubud. And after a pretty sticky start, um, we're gonna go up to the main town now. And they're opening up the new market complex and there's gonna be a big ceremony for that. So we're gonna go and see that. Then we're going to take a walk down to the Campanam Ridge and the Monkey Forest. So we're going to, a few things we're going to do today. Um, not really sure how big the uh, ceremony is going to be or whether it's going to be anything at all. But um, that's where we're going to go first. Well, that is the homestay we're staying at. Homestay. Hotel. I don't know what you call it, really. Anyway, that has gone from being the most idyllic place to what I would consider to be average. And that's what happens sometimes. I think maybe, maybe you do it too much. But you can see in behind, which unfortunately we couldn't see from our rooms anymore, there's the volcanoes in behind. Yeah, maybe you can just overdo things a bit too much, you know, come to the same place too often. I think um, we've been coming to the rice fields we worked out last night maybe 16 years and there's been lots and lots of changes and of course as it becomes more popular it loses the charm that it once had and I think we are probably not going to stay on the rice fields anymore but you know that's our choice you know other people are going to come out here if you've never been here before and and uh, that guy had blocks on his bike and they were just balanced that's blocks on that i'm just going to show you hopefully you can see it still going down anyway as i was saying um i just think you can fall out with love with things um you don't necessarily have to love think something forever do you yeah yeah and there's um, also that issue as well, is um, you're getting a lot of people now who think um, rather than just coming down here as a, a gentle sort of path through the rice fields, they can ride their bikes as fast as they want. And they forget that, you know, there is a ditch either side and, you know, someone could go down there. It's not fair. You know, we're all here for the same reasons. Well, certainly a little bit quieter up here at the moment. It is early, 
Boykin's hope is yesterday was an exceptionally busy day. I don't think it was. I think we'll probably be fine. As the day draws on and the tourists come in, it's going to get busy and, and busier and busier. Oh, yeah, I'm a tourist as well, aren't I? We got that. Well, the traffic's starting to build up again. And look at that beautiful safari. That is just stunning. You know how much I love our safaris. And those of you watching in the UK, yeah, there are really that many safaris about everywhere you go. I think in Java we saw more, to be perfectly honest. But, um, you know, I'm tempted, if anyone wants to come in with me, to try and come out and buy a couple and ship them back to the UK. I mean, wouldn't you want to drive one of them? Oh, mate. Not today, thank you. <laughs> Because there's just a big ceremony on today, there's just lots and lots and lots of uh, locals in traditional dress, which is beautiful to see. Well, I think we may have missed the ceremony. Is it sad? Look at the offerings. That is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've changed our plans a little bit now. We're going to wander down to the mon monkey forest first because it's, it's um, yeah, <laughs> it's um, going to be quite hot. We're doing a coming down ridge walk now, so we're just going to go down through to the monkey forest, down through the markets and bits and pieces, and um, hopefully it'll be a little bit of a cooler option. <laughs> Well, after being so quite so crazy last night, it seems to be a lot quieter today. There are people about, but nothing in the situation it was like last night. So I think maybe there was something going on that we weren't aware of, and uh, maybe that's what it's all about. It's definitely very chilled here today. Well, instantly, there's one thing I'm noticing this year compared to last year is uh, the lack of monkeys on the street. Uh, they were a good couple hundred yards up the street roaming about. But we've not actually seen any yet. I'm sure as we come round the corner at the bottom, we're going to see some. And you'll see baby monkeys over there. So we're going to take a life in the hands now and cross over.
please don't stop him. Can we see the monkeys? It's quite a lot of young. So just in case you come in here and you're walking on your feet, which a lot of us do, the pedestrian entrance is just below the main entrance for the cars. And it brings you in on the side. You will, however, see lots of people walking up the car route. And we actually did it last year ourselves. So it's very easy to miss. Well, it's quite amazing, really. Our Monkey Forest Road is so quiet. And you come down to the Monkey Forest and there's quite a lot of people queuing to come out. So it's obviously been relatively busy in the air. Well, certainly big queues compared to last year. However, like we said, we didn't come in last year because they wanted us to wear masks around the monkeys. So we said, uh, no, we'll give it a miss. Well, we're in. Um, that was 80,000 per person, adult, for Western ticket. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Tell me, Pessy. It's the first time we've been back here for a long time, actually inside. So, hopefully we'll see lots of new stuff, but for the video, it'll be the first time ever. Well, a few years ago, our daughter came here and uh, she was unlucky enough to be scratched and uh, she had to have a series of rabies shots. So uh, you've got to be careful around them. Come in, yeah. Here he goes. Now we decided that as we're walking through, there's a first turning on the left. Uh, everybody seems to go on for, straight forward, so we thought we'd go on the left, which leads up to the main temple. And instantly it's a lot quieter. Yeah, all the monkeys are going off to a big fight anyway, so we're not going to see any of them. <laughs> no smoking and no vaping. Just don't want to give the monkeys bad habits. <laughs> This is a really sad thing when people decide to feed him. Yeah, he's walking away now. Because, you know, they shouldn't be fed human food, should they? It's just gonna make him more volatile.
sort of guy just now feeding, throwing like packets of food he bought in the shop to the monkeys. And uh, I missed getting V, tell him off. But this is how they should be eating. This is their feeding stations. It's where they feed naturally. And these animals to be conserved properly, you know, and looked after properly. You know, and this is the way it's done. Yeah, nobody should be feeding these animals processed foods and packets of stuff. Here we go. This is um, this is uh, what happens when you leave things hanging around on things, hanging off your hanging off your prams or your belts or whatever. And this monkey has decided he wants that. So uh, I'm not quite sure what he's got, but it looks like some sort of gel. So. Uh, <laughs> and he's not letting. <laughs> he's already told him that he's not letting him have it back. He's. Uh... <laughs> he's not letting that go back. <laughs> Oh. Well, he's opened it. Well, whatever's in it, he likes it. I know we've stumbled across this monkey graveyard. I can't say I've ever noticed it before, but it certainly looks a lot tidier in here now. Looking at the dates, you can see 2017, 2018. Of course, monkeys are really, really special to the Balinese. Well, what do I think of the uh, monkey forest now? I think it's well worth the money. They've done really well, the gardens are looking lovely, the monkeys are really well looked after. And they're less aggressive than they used to be. Um, a while back we went in, like I said, my dog got scratched a few years back and uh, she had her rabies. But um, yeah, the monkeys seem to be a lot more content with what they're being fed. They're not trying to grab too much, although we did see um, one monkey grabbed something from a pram and I think it was aloe vera in there and he seemed to be enjoying that, I don't know why. Maybe aloe vera is uh, nice to him, I really don't know. Anyway, so that's that. Um, now we're going to head back up. It's sort of mid-late afternoon. Um, we're going to do Campanan Ridge walk a little later. Um, for now, I think we're just going to carry on up through the street, maybe get a grab and head back to the hotel for an hour. And quite realistically, if you don't want to pay to see the monkeys, don't want to go in the monkey forest, you've only got to come around the outside and you're going to see plenty anyway. And there's plenty of other places on the island you're going to see monkeys. You're going to see them at Uluwatu. You're going to see them up north uh, between uh, Levin and Pamutaron. We've seen them drive in on the Candidasa Road further up. There are monkeys all over the island if you look. Not so many, 
and obviously this is a place where you can you know, know you're going to come and see them and find them.